Hello and welcome to another episode of Davillion's Rapid Accessibility Review Series. My name is Biggs and in this series I rapidly review the accessibility of random websites. Well, maybe not quite so random because this one is actually a coffee shop around the corner that I have. Um, and one of the main reasons I wanted to review this one was because the last couple of reviews I did were WordPress sites and this one is Squarespace so I was a little bit curious to see how they would compare. So let us get into the review. Now here's the site in question and I am just going to jump straight into it so, as usually, we start with the page title. So, what do we have? Cobb's Corner Cafe. Perfectly fine. Like always, it's lovely to add a, a little bit extra, maybe related to the location. Or, I mean, cafe obviously describes the business, but you, know, you could add a little bit more here. It doesn't it doesn't hurt. So next one headings. Let's see how it handles headings. Outline. No, sorry. Information view document outline. Okay. So we got. All right. I mean, I can all already see we got multiple heading ones. Which is not ideal. There really should only be one. And there is some. Yeah, and then there's missing headings for sort of the hierarchical structure. Um, so this could definitely be improved a little bit. Um, yeah. So let's close that down. Next thing would be just the links themselves. We got home, about, gallery, contact us, menu. This is actually a funny one because you know, being on a website and clicking on menu, you'd expect to see the navigation effectively. But in this case, it's the menu. <laughs> so that makes sense, but it's it's an interesting concept where you've got a cafe with a menu, but then you've got a navigational element here. Anyway, so let, let's keep on going, looking at the nav, uh, sorry, looking at the um, the links themselves. I don't think there's any links here. Okay, more about us. Okay, so that's, I think that's fine. See our menu, photo gallery. Um, no links here. Trip advisor. Mm. There's some links here in the, in the map. I think that's fine. Facebook, Instagram. Okay, so not many links really on the on the on the site, but that's they actually look they just look fine. So let's have a quick check to see how it is without the um, without CSS. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Disable all styles. So let's see how sort of semantic everything is. We've got. The usual, a duplicated, um, a duplicated nav uh, for desktop and then for mobile. I wish they could uh, figure out ways to avoid that somehow, but it's just really common to see. Uh, that's a heading one, I believe. And you've got a massive image here. Could just be a, could be served as a background image just to, because it's really just sort of complementary. Um, okay, There's headings, some images, food, okay, this seems fine. Oh, this map is a bit, oh, there's a very big map down here. So, wait a minute, so we don't have any footer stuff. Hmm. Wasn't there more content? What our customers say, yeah, 
Is none of this available down there? Oh yeah, it is here. This is the footer content. Actually. Okay, I, it looks to me like the, the map is kind of being a bit messy here and it's massive. And yeah, okay, so this is just breaking quite a bit here in the in the non-CSS department. Um, okay, fine, let's um, bring that back in and let's have a look at the next concern. Um, let's check out images. Let's see if there are any background images. Let's hide background images. And okay. There are no background images, so it's all, these are all regular images. So let's display the alt attribute, see what comes up there. I think there's nothing for this. Okay, here's an alt description, which is just the title, which is just the file name, which is not very useful. I'm just gonna scroll down quickly to see another one here, file name, file name. Um, Okay, so alt descriptions completely lacking. Um, I'm not sure that any of these images are fundamental to understanding the site itself. I mean, obviously the aesthetics and, you know, what food is being portrayed, the settings, all this kind of stuff is really, really really important no well maybe not important but it's it's valuable to have if you're navigating this site as a blind person or, or and, and getting those details so if you don't have time to do that then at the very least don't have the file name in the old description because that really just is completely uh, useless and, and unnecessary information so you know ideally put in some nice description describing the image or keep it blank so that the screen reader will bypass it. Um, and there's no images down here. Okay, that's kind of that. Okay, let's take that off. Um, there's no audio and there's no video, so we'll move over to keyboard. Keyboard, okay. So let's start tabbing and see where that takes us. Okay, sorry, I'm just a bit further down there. Okay, all right, that highlights that. Then we go to home, about, gallery, contact, menu. More about us, see our menu, photo gallery. That's the map being highlighted. And then I think this is going into the terms of use, possibly. They're like inside the map there. Oh, no, this is probably something else. I'm not sure what this is. Um, report a map error, Facebook, Instagram down there. We're now in the footer, and then we go to Instagram, and then we're out. Yeah. Okay. I think that's fine. It's not a, a very strong highlight, but I think it's fine. Yeah. Is there any skip content? Because I don't see... Cops Corner, just go straight into Cops Corner Cafe. Yeah, I don't think there's a skip content link at all. Um, but that, that, that's always good to add. Although th this menu is kind of um, not very um, big or long to, to step through, so maybe it's okay. And we've got focus, states, that's nice. Logical tab order is nice. There's really no interactions with the keyboard as such. It's a very, very simple site, so that's fine. Um, there's no forms to worry about. Um, so let's just have a quick check to see the responsiveness. Uh, again, let's get rid of this. Uh, let's switch over to the mobile. And let's just have a quick check to see how that goes. All the images are resi resizing, probably these. Columns are going to start breaking down. Um, that's probably going to.
cut into yeah there we go just before it uh, starts overlapping it breaks into the mobile nav um, and this is fine all good just keep on going down all right that's where the cops corner the title here drops down everything goes into a single column perfectly fine so a bit squishy here this is maybe not the best but it probably goes pretty soon down let's keep on going down see I'm down to 350 now so I'm not, I'm not really gonna go further than that single column and that's changed here now that's a better layout here okay and that's smaller what our customers say map Oh yeah, that's the classic thing where um, so when your pointer goes over the, the map, it starts sort of zooming in and out. You may have seen where you, you need to kind of hold down a key to, to zoom in and out. Um, but that's fine. Um, back to top is an extra thing being added for mobile. Uh, I'm not sure it's working. So I'll just go to the top. Um, okay, let's check the nav, see what that does. Okay, opens up kind of like that. And that's fine. I'm closing it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think responsive is perfectly cool. All right, let's go to navigation. No, sorry, to um, magnification. So we're going to zoom in on this. Zoom in on this to 400%. As expected, it goes to the mobile styling, so it'll be something similar. Obviously, there's a, it's like a landscape mode when it comes like this, but single column, text is big, everything is big, and I think this is, okay, so it's, it's using that, but obviously screens are going to be different, so... Um, Okay, now here we go with the zoom. So we have to actually, if I want to scroll up and down here with the mouse, I have to go outside of the map and keep on scrolling. Um, okay, all right, fine. Let's go to the top again. And I want to check to see if I can operate that mobile navigation with the keyboard. I'm curious about that one. So. Let's go up here, Cobb's Corner Cafe, and more about us. Yeah, no, that is completely bypassing the navigation. Yep, completely bypasses the nav. This is extremely common to see. Um, but that's how that is. Okay, so what would be next? Let's have... And let's check out the color contrast, see how that goes. So we'll go to the dev tools and we will jump over to the axe dev tools, scan the page and find the color contrast bit that's here. We'll highlight, right. So that is the orange on the white. Um, that's a color contrast issues with that. Maybe the orange needs to be a bit darker, most likely. So let's skip to the next one. It's probably going to jump to all those ones. That's the, yeah, that's the uh, TripAdvisor review. This is just a bit light. This gray is a bit light on that white. So maybe the gray needs to be a bit, a bit darker. Okay. And that color, that gray on that dark, very dark gray. That's, um, it doesn't say. Uh, 
it doesn't actually say the um, the issue but that might need to be looked into just a little bit more carefully what that is um, okay there we go that's describing oh uh, that's telling us what color that is yeah it's a bit it's a bit low contrast there so it might need um, yeah I think it needs to be a lighter a lighter color mostly okay and now it jumps up to that so I think this relates to if the image is gone for some reason if it doesn't load we might actually have a, a white background also white text on white so um, so just in case you might make the background dark if the image it doesn't appear um, I think it might be related to that yeah I have to admit that that um, that home there like the the active state gray on that background image is, is very hard to see so um, that could be looked at as well yeah those links is mentioning something about that the same thing and that as well um, mm, not quite sure what this is about I think this looks fine perhaps if the yeah I'm not sure and now it's mentioning something about that okay so some of these uh, acts contrast issues are sort of a bit unknown so maybe they just need to be looked at a little bit more carefully but I think that's fine with the color contrast let's check out animations there's no animations on this page no slideshow like the other ones that I've been reviewing So yeah, um, so the last bit to check would be HTML validation. So let's go to tools, validate HTML, and let's see how that goes. Okay, so message filtering, 20 errors, meta element, um, missing source attribute duplicate ID yeah it's just a handful of, of of HTML issues HTML errors here okay and the very last bit is just to see if the console log is being relatively clean we'll open this up something is there but let's refresh the page seeing if that comes from comes on load um, no it doesn't seem to complain on load maybe it's related to the math or something you know what I think that's fine so that was a pretty quick one got through that pretty quick thank you so much for watching if you liked the video please consider subscribing to the channel um, I'm gonna be doing loads of these reviews over time and if you work for Cobb's Corner Cafe um, and you think you could use our services then please get in touch um, we'd love to work with you um, have a lovely rest of the day and take good care of yourself yep bye bye